Do you have some abnormal brake wear? Maybe your wheels and tires are sticking and that's what's holding you back. That's not good. That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. If you need any type of brake parts for your vehicle, you can get those at warneyauto.com. We wanna take a look at the front brakes on this truck here. While you're driving it down the road, it seems like the brakes are dragging. Sometimes when you go to take off from a stop, the truck doesn't even move. So it seems like something's sticking. So let's check it out. We're gonna raise the vehicle up so all the wheels are off the ground. And then we're gonna pump the brake pedal. After that, we're gonna go around and check all the wheels, see if they actually spin freely. That one barely moves. See, that one stays spinning. That's the way it should be. Rears are moving. Rears are a little sticky, but the major one is this front one. If your brakes are sticking, it could be the caliper itself, the piston sticking in the caliper could be the brake pads sticking in the bracket, the slide pins that are in the caliper or in the bracket, or even the brake hose. There could be an obstruction in the brake hose, so it allows pressure to go in, but does not release the pressure. So we've got to check all of those out. I'm just going to take a pry bar and just pry the caliper. That's just compressing the pistons back into the caliper. And you can see if the slide pins move. And it seems like both pins are moving, so that's good. Now the caliper piston on the bottom seems like it's sticking compared to the top. The top moves in a little easy. The bottom one is sticking a little bit. It's a lot harder to force that one in than the top one. So that could be what's going on. But we also want to check out the pads, see if they're stuck in the bracket. So let's take this apart. Slide that off. I'm just going to use a caliper hanger, hang that up. Oh yeah, this pad is stuck. So this should move freely, kind of like this one. It moves somewhat easily. This one is not moving at all. So majority of the reason why this was happening was because this brake pad was stuck in the bracket. Pop that off. Yeah, the other one comes off a lot easier. You can see how much more the inside one is worn than the outside one. This little indent here that's normal that's just the design of the brake pad they must do that for noise these should be the same thickness and they're obviously not and i'm going to take the bracket off you may think that when you have uneven brake wear that it's caused by the brake pads themselves well that's not normally the case it's due to other brake components let's check out some brake pads here we have some examples of some uneven brake wear these pads themselves are worn unevenly. You can see one side of the pad is thicker than the other. With this example, you have one pad that's extremely thin compared to the rest of them. And if this situation continued, you're gonna end up with one brake pad grinding metal to metal on the rotor. Let's talk about reasons why these are worn in this way. These ones that look like a wedge of cheese, they're a little bit thicker on one side than the other, could be a potential bad wheel bearing. If you had a wheel bearing that had some play in it and this part of the hub was actually sitting at an angle while you're driving down the road, the pads are not gonna squeeze the rotor correctly. If these pieces of wood simulate a brake pad as you're going down the road with the hub, the rotor is gonna be tipped the pads are gonna be pushing on the rotor in these locations. One side of the brake pad is gonna wear at the top and one side of the brake pad is gonna wear at the bottom. Now we're gonna go over a couple examples what you would see if you had a bad caliper. If one of these pistons happened to be stuck and the only the other piston was working, you're gonna have a similar to the last brake wear, you could have the brake pads just pinching on one side. So the wedges are gonna be the same on both sides. They're just gonna be worn evenly 
like that. If you had a caliper with both pistons frozen or even a single piston that's frozen, you're gonna end up with both brake pads, one like this, just on that wheel, and the rest of the wheels are all fine. Moving on to the brake caliper bracket, the pads themselves can get stuck in the bracket. When you touch the brake pedal, it squeezes the pads, and then the pads are unable to release, so they're constantly touching the rotor. That's gonna wear them out. That's why they're gonna look like this. You're gonna have uneven brake pad wear on just one pad, not the other. You can see the brake pads move in and out very easily in the bracket. They're not bound up in there. That's exactly what you're looking for. You can also have rust or corrosion on the rotors and that's gonna cause the brake pads to wear a lot quicker. If the vehicle sits or it is in salty areas, maybe you're near the ocean or in some of the rust belt areas where they use a lot of salt on the roads, you're gonna get corrosion buildup on the rotors not driving the car frequently enough, or maybe someone even replaced just the brake pads and not the rotors. It's always a great idea when you're doing a brake job, replace the pads and the rotors. Very similar to the brake caliper bracket, the caliper slide pins could give you similar results if they fail. If I pry the brake caliper back, the caliper itself on most vehicles is gonna float just like this. And if one of these pins is binding up, it's gonna cause the pad to be engaged too long and obviously you're gonna have abnormal wear. So definitely check that out. And the last thing we're gonna talk about that's overlooked is the brake hose itself. And that's gonna give you very similar symptoms to the other components. The brakes will be engaged even after you release the brake pedal because fluid is not able to go back up into the master cylinder. If there's a clog in there, it's just gonna hold it tight. There's gonna be pressure down here holding the brakes attached. So if you have abnormal brake wear, don't want to replace just the pads and rotors or you're going to have issues down the road. You want to take a look at those other parts. You can always get those at 1AAuto.com. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Not symptoms, but... Causes. Effects? Effects? Not effects, but a word that emulates effects. Similar outcomes? Do you like that? Yeah? Okay. I don't know, that sounds weird. Sounds too intelligent.